This was Mapens Mayor Winston Mirage in December last year at a function in Chapleton, Clarendon. He was the first elected official to publicly express suspicion about the COVID-19 vaccines. We understand that there is a vaccine out, more than one vaccines around. But, you know, sometimes when something new come out, you can't just run into it because you don't know what effects it might have on you. So we want the big countries, them like America and Canada and England. Go ahead and take the vaccine and let us see how it work for a little while before we rush into it. The mayor's comments at the time were seen as potentially damaging to public confidence in the vaccine. But fast forward a few months and the mayor is among the first to get the vaccine in Clarendon. We asked Mayor Mirage what made him change his mind about the COVID-19 vaccine. When I looked around and I see the number of cases that we have been having and the cases have been spiraling in Jamaica, I think it's the wise thing to do is to ensure that we protect ourselves from this dangerous virus. All right, so we follow up with the mayor this morning. He joins me online. Good morning, Your Worship. How are you? Good morning to you, Delia. Good morning to your viewers. Thank you so much for joining I'm all right. <laughs> all right, so we saw that <laughs> clip. We know initially you're a little bit skeptical about the vaccine. Um, what has uh -huh. changed for you? Is it that since then and now you're more comfortable that the big countries that you named have actually yes. been using it? Is that one of the things? Definitely, definitely. And we have looked at the amount of people that have taken it, you know, in those big countries and, um, and the, the minimal amount of people, you know, who have, uh, who have been affected, you know, with uh, allergic reactions or so on. Yes. And it was very minimal. So, you know, we looked at it and we, I looked at the figures that have been affecting us as well in Jamaica. And I think now, now is the time that everybody needs to take their shots as, as soon as available. Yes. Um, you, you took the vaccine. Did you have any, any kind of side effects? And if you did, what were they? Well, I was warned before to take two Panadol, so I did. So I just had a little pain on the left shoulder here um, for about a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. And then it was back to work for me. Yeah. In hindsight, Mayor, do you regret making the statement or do you still stand by what you said, that you're more comfortable because you wanted to see just how it would work elsewhere before, before working here in Jamaica? Yeah, no, well, I'm, I stand by what I said. I mean, that was in the first week of December. Yes. And, you know, a lot of things have happened since that. Mm -hmm. What's the so situation? I just like to urge everybody now to, to go out and get their shots. Right, right. Um, so what, I, I've, I've asked a couple of times here, and I know the Ministry of Health and Wellness is leading the charge, but as mm -hmm. the, the local governance in Clarendon, um, what are some yeah. of the things that you've been doing to, to encourage Clarendonians to, to come out and be vaccinated or to facilitate the process? Well, we have been talking to our um, constituents, of course, mm -hmm. and we, have, we work close to with the health department. Um, of course, you know, we are the local board of health. Yes. And by the way, we're having another meeting today with the local board of health. And of course, as the mayor, you are the chairman of the parish disaster committee. And, you know, we are now um, acting on the, the disaster risk management act. Mm -hmm. So we work very close with all the agencies. Um, we got a form from the health department, which all councillors were given, to go out and register people over a certain age mm -hmm. and, and to get them into the health department, which we did. And of course, people are still registering online. And, you know, coming up this week, there'll be a blitz in each parish. And the minister spoke to it. And of course, um, we should be hearing more by the end of today, where councillors will be involved in mobilizing people to get them out to these areas to have their vaccinations done. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that rural areas are, are coming out this weekend because it's important. Have you, so, so what has been the feedback since you took the vaccine? Um, have people seen you and said, Mayor, oh, you say you're not taking the vaccine and you're going to take the vaccine. What, what's the feedback been like for you? Yeah, well, with me, my, my answer is I didn't say I'm not taking it. Right. I just said we'll, we'll watch the others first. Right, right, right. But, Which but, we did, and now it's time to go. Yeah, but have you been getting that kind of feedback from your constituents? I get a few, I get a few, yes. Yes, yes. 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 But that's all right, because you've been, you've been going out there. Um, there are a lot of Jamaicans who are watching now, Mayor, and, and I know you said it, 
um, you wanted to see the proof of what's happening, but, but people are still a little bit skeptical. What do you say to those persons to encourage them to go out and get themselves vaccinated? I would say don't not be scared. Don't listen to, you know, there's a lot of things going around on social media. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, you know, when I look back, almost all of us, if not all, have gotten vaccinations for different types of illnesses. When we were young, eh? Yes. None of us knew what were in those. None of us knew the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So why worry about it now? I'm sure that the, 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 the medical team who have been working on these things know what is best for the human population. Right. I don't think you're right. So, you know, don't don't be scared. Just go out, get your vaccines. And another thing I've been looking at, the, the, the way that the viruses are transmitted, not only the COVID-19, but other viruses, the flu virus and all of that. And um, the way they are transmitted, the health department will tell you it's communicable diseases. Now, how does that communicate? You transmit it from one person to another. Mm -hmm. It means, therefore, if you look at it in depth, we have been ingesting, you know, consuming other people's saliva over the years, you know, even people don't know. Mm. We're looking at it that way. Right, right, you right. You know, step back and look at these things. Yes. Um, this is, you know, this, this is even more reason to continue wearing masks as long as the security forces don't have a problem with it. Yes. Um, for persons in Clarendon who need to get more information, do they contact, I, I mean, and I know there are the numbers, but, but is it okay yeah. if they speak to their councillors, their members of parliament, and they will get information sure. as well? Sure. Go ahead, speak to your councillors, get the numbers for your councillors, and of course your members of parliament, or the offices of the members of parliament. Mm -hmm. Contact the health department in Clarendon, their numbers listed all over the place, and, um, and they will get the information that they need. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, Dada. Keep healthy. Thanks for having me. All right. His Worship, the Mayor of Maypen, Winston Mirage. We'll soon be back.